Nice to meet you. Hey, uh, you have a fight in April. <laughs> April in New Jersey. Uh, who are you fighting? Um, yeah, April 18th, I'll be fighting Felice Herrig. Oh, two pretty girls fighting. That's a, a thing. How do you feel about like being the pretty girl of UFC? Um, I just know that I have a lot to prove to show that I'm tough and I deserve to be there because of my athletic abilities. Uh, that is true. Uh, you've been fighting. You actually missed out on being in um, the Ultimate Champ or Ultimate... <laughs> Ultimate Fighter. Uh, Ultimate yeah. Fighter, uh, the age thing. You feel like that was beneficial or not so much? Yeah, you know, at first it um, was a letdown. It would have been great exposure and it would have been really good to be able to train with those coaches and those athletes. Uh, there are a lot, it would have been great to train with all the straw weights, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise. I got to fight for the UFC anyway and go in and get a very dominant win. You did very early on, too. 19, right? You were 19 in that fight. No, I was 20. You were 20 in the yeah. UFC fight. Wow. Mm -hmm. Still 20. Yeah. You're, so it's all been like a pretty fast. Last year for you. It has been, yeah. But I mean, I love everything that's coming to me. I do really, really well under pressure, and I have to stay busy. Okay. Um, you seem really, really, really good at media. Like, have you had like a uh, media training or anything like that? No, I mean, I went to college early and took speech classes. I don't, I don't know. It's just something that my parents really helped me with. Yeah. Um, you mentioned like uh, not really like high school bullying and things like that, which is why helped you leave earlier, sixteen. Years. You want to talk a little bit about that? Or? Yeah, you know, people can be mean. Um, I, I had a terrible freshman year of high school, and I just got, I got to the point I couldn't go to school anymore, and it was making my grades go down, and I decided instead of failing high school, I was going to do something else, and graduated early and ended up going to college when I was 16. 16, wow. Mm -hmm. um, I know, let's go back a little bit to the Ultimate Fighter. There were a few tra like really good trainers there, and some you mentioned you want to work with. Anybody specifically? Yeah, you know, both the coaches from the show, Anthony Pettis is great, Gilbert, Gilbert Renalita is I heard he had a really good coaching team, so I, either of them would have been awesome to work with. Okay, um, are you still looking for a gym out in uh, Vegas? I'm are not, still... I'm in uh, Sacramento. I'm training with Team Alpha Male. Oh, okay. Uh, I remember you had a little problems going through finding a gym. Yeah, that was the only hard thing about Vegas is that you would show up and not really know if you had um, someone to work with. You know, there's a lot. There isn't a lot of small girls in the sport right now, gotcha. and it, it is growing, fortunately. But now I have a gym full of small guys that I, I always have a training partner, and I, it's a team that really cares about me, and I can, they they want me to succeed. Okay, um, let's talk a little bit about the Reebok deal. How do you feel? How do you? Uh, Feel about all this, you know, uniform now. It's like a real sport. It's like a. I love it. I mean, I, I think it brings a sense of professionalism to the UFC. It really brings us together as athletes. It makes us a little more, more like the NFL. We're uniformed, and I, I love that I get to be a part, a part of it. Okay. Do you, uh, do you, are you a big sneaker person or not so much? I am. Yeah, I love sneakers. I mean, I, I think I own more sneakers than anything else. <laughs> I love I love my shoes, and uh, the Reeboks are awesome. Yeah, that means we're gonna go sneaker shopping though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> she said we're going to go sneaker shopping. Swiss Beats, Dana White, let's make that happen. Um, is there anything else you want to say that you want to address, like, media? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, yeah. I, I love everything I'm doing, and I'm fortunate <laughs> to have all this going on. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, of course.